Breaking news, Ravens fans. According to this article from A to Z Sports that was written by Buck Rising, the Baltimore Ravens are the most interested team uh, in trading for Titans all-pro running back Derrick Henry. And that is music to a lot of Ravens fans' ears. Shout out to Music City, by the way. Now, um, this what could this mean? What could this interest in Derrick Henry mean? Well, it could mean a lot of things, and we're going to go over each of them. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss any videos, especially ones like this. And we got the trade deadline literally right around the corner. Uh, it's less than a week away, so y'all stay tuned for that. But now, uh, with EDC being interested in Derrick Henry, what does this let us know? Well, number one, it lets us know that EDC, like we've talked about when he shared interest in Adamakin Sue, EDC is not content with the current state of the Baltimore Ravens. And we love that because you could be a 5-2 and team. You are a 5-2 and two team. And your general manager could be like, oh, we're good. We straight. And even in the two games that we lost, uh, we beat ourselves. So as long as we correct some mistakes, we'll be A-OK. -okay. And, hey, that could be the case. The Ravens could be A-OK -okay with the roster that they have right now. But EDC is apparently like, no, not good enough. I want more. And I love that. He's checking for more on both the offensive side and the defensive side. And we love that. Now, with Derrick Henry specifically, it lets us know that he feels like the running back situation is not good enough. And he wants it to be even better, even stronger, and even more powerful. You think about this. You think about the Baltimore Ravens lining up. You got Lamar Jackson. You got Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Baby, Mark Andrews, Zay Flowers, Nelson Aguilar. But then in the backfield, you got Derrick Henry sitting there. King Henry just sitting there, posted up next to Lamar Jackson. Teams are already terrified, petrified of a Lamar Jackson. They're petrified of his arm. Uh, they're petrified of him taking off. Lamar Jackson can hurt you in so many different ways. But then with the threat that is a Lamar Jackson, that makes just about anybody who lines up next to him that much better. Just like that. Just just the threat alone. So then on top of that, if it's actually a good player that's next to him. Ooh. <laughs> now, look, man, I ain't going to get too hyped off of this now because it's just interest. But everything starts somewhere. Ravens fans are extremely smart. A lot of people like to discredit fans, and I hate when people discredit fans. You cannot discredit fans because fans know what they're talking about. Even if they never played a lick of football before, even if they've never been in a front office before, fans know what they're talking about. My guy, BZ, from Extreme Sports Talk 305, me and him talked about this months ago. He put me on to this months ago. He was like, the Ravens should go after Derrick Henry. That will be the running back who they should get. He, months ago, he said this. Nothing. Re he said this a long time ago. And I was like, huh? And he was like, look, hey, think like a GM. He said, the Titans, they're not going to be a good team this year. They should, Ravens should go after Derrick Henry. That would really upgrade their running back room. And I was like, hmm, well, I'll think about it. And then I saw a lot of other Ravens fans start to really come around to that idea. A lot of Ravens fans recently, especially ever since the, trade, the Titans traded their safety, uh, Kevin Bayard, to the Eagles, that's when a lot of Ravens fans were like, oh, no, hey, go get Derrick Henry bring him to Baltimore because once they traded their safety once the Titans traded their safety it was like oh yeah they're, they're sellers they're done and we know they're done so this and then with the Ravens having played the the Titans a couple of weeks ago over the pond they got to get a, a, a bird's eye view or actually a close-up view up close and personal view of Derrick Henry and how bad or how good they felt that he still was but apparently if they still interested in Derrick Henry then they must have loved what they saw and I mean hey Derrick Henry we, we were taking care of business against Derrick Henry stuffing him up the middle he, you thought he was going to run up the middle on the Baltimore Ravens uh -uh, no wrong false but them runs to the outside we don't want to talk about that uh but that's because we were still missing the die fair way but anyway um the Baltimore Ravens if they were to acquire a Derrick Henry, that could be a beautiful thing. Um, I, I do feel like the Baltimore Ravens right now, the way that their team is set up with them, if they have health, they already dangerous. They already dangerous how they are now. But why stop there? Why stop there? Again, remember they they talking to Adamakins too, so that lets us know they want to upgrade the defensive line. And if they're interested in Derrick Henry, that lets us know they want to upgrade the running back room as well. Now, um, they could be significantly interested in Derrick Henry, but something to keep in mind. Ravens usually always 
They like looking at multiple options. They don't solely focus on just one player and be like, all right, we're interested in that player, and that's going to be the only guy that we look for. That's going to be our only option. That's going to be the only guy that we want to acquire. No, they're going to look at other options too. So while this could be legitimate, and I'm sure it is legitimate interest in Derrick Henry. I mean, who wouldn't want a Derrick Henry? Well, minus the Tennessee Titans right now. But they could also be looking at somebody else who may be a more low-key option, who may be a more under-the-radar option at the running back position. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as we move forward and we get closer uh, to the trade deadline because, again, it's coming up. It's six days away. Actually, less than six days away because 4 p.m. It's already 6.46 p.m. Well, when I'm recording, this at 6.46. When you see this, who knows? Uh, but, yeah, so that, that's something to keep in mind. Derrick Henry could be an option, but they may be looking at somebody else as well. Now, um, when you think about trade compensation, hmm, what could that be for a Derrick Henry? Well, you know what? Before we get into that, let, let, let's read the part of the article uh, where it talked about Derrick Henry. It said the Baltimore Ravens are the most uh, are the team most interested in acquiring Henry as of Wednesday, but any potential deal could fall through if the compensation is not right. Baltimore is hardly flush with cap space, however, with six point two nine million available. I thought Baltimore Ravens had like two point six million available in cap space. I, I don't think this number that they had in the article is correct. But anyway, he said if the Titans are serious about moving Henry, they will likely have to buy a better pick. Now, this next part says what a Derrick Henry trade could look like for the Titans. Henry is in the final season of his four-year $50 million contract with Tennessee, including an average annual salary of $12.5 million. So, uh, the way that it will work, um, with Derrick Henry having already played, what, seven games for the Titans? Or did they have a bye week yet? I don't think so. But anyway, uh, with him having already played six or seven games for the Titans already, the way that the... The structure of his uh, his deal would work the rest of it because it, it has to be paid out uh, what they could do. Titans could be like if, if it's a trade and they just really trying to move off of him, they could sweeten the deal for whatever team is willing to take him off of their hands. And they could be like, you know what, we'll pay the majority of the remainder of his salary and you're you'll only be responsible for this much uh, of his salary. So that. If his salary is 12.5 mil a, a season, then you would need to break that up. 12.5 mil. Uh, that's 12 mil. Uh, my calculator messing up. But you would divide that by 17 games. Um, and then with it being divided by 17 games, you would take away the games that he played already. And the remainder would give you how much he's owed for the rest of the season. So the Titans could be like, you know what, we'll pick that up or we'll pick up the majority of that or the team that acquires him, whether that's the Ravens or not, they will be responsible for it. It all depends on how uh, the, what the structure of the trade would be. Now, we know with um, with Eric DaCosta and the Ravens last year with Roquan Smith, when they traded A.J. Klein, a second round pick and I think a fifth round pick to acquire Roquan Smith, the Bears, they were trying to move off of him. So they ate up a lot of Roquan Smith's remainder of his salary not all of it but they ate a chunk of it so that made it even easier for the Baltimore Ravens so again it was a win-win for both sides because they ended up getting a second round pick and AJ Klein and a fifth round pick uh, and the Ravens end up getting their now hundred million dollar uh, linebacker who has been playing like a hundred million dollars um so that that's how that could work with Derrick Henry uh, and again, like we always say, if you really want something, if you really want to make something happen, you will find ways to make it work. Oh, I should have kept reading. The article continues to say a team trading for the former Heisman Trophy winner would have to take on between six point five to seven mil in remaining money on his deal. That's an incredibly steep price tag halfway through the season for an almost 30 year old running back on an expiring contract. Um, now, with that, uh a lot of times teams will trade for players, uh, and if that player is in their long-term plans, then they will give that player a contract extension. Now, I do not think that if the Baltimore Ravens traded for Derrick Henry, I don't think they would be looking to get him a contract extension, especially right away. I think it would definitely be a wait-and-see approach, and I, I don't even think if, if they traded for him, uh, depending on the compensation at least, but I don't think if they traded for him that a contract extension would be on the top of their list of priorities. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Ravens have a lot of other areas and a lot of other players 
that I think they will want to focus on first when it came to contract extensions. Right now, number one for them, I think, being Justin Matabike. Uh, and number one B, it's like a 1A, 1B type of thing, I think would be Patrick Queen. Um, and then, even though I don't think it's going to happen, I'm sure they would think about and maybe even talk to Geno Stone just to see just to put out some feelers on what they could work out, if they could work out anything. But I think Geno Stone, I think both ways. Like, they pay, they pay Marcus Williams all that money. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I don't think they're going to re-sign Geno Stone. They drafted Kyle Hamilton. So that's another reason I don't think they're going to re-sign Geno Stone. And Geno Stone, why would he want to come back to the Baltimore Ravens to be a backup? Because remember, the only reason he's getting this opportunity right now is because Marcus Williams is hurt. So Ravens' current starter is hurt. So... I don't think Geno Stone's going to be like, oh, you know what? I, I, I want to come back and I want to be a backup for the Baltimore Ravens. No. Uh, even if the money is solid, I, I think he can get more money elsewhere, but more importantly, more opportunity elsewhere. Uh, but the Baltimore Ravens got a lot of other things that they need to worry about before they worry about the running back position, especially wide receiver, too, because that could change a lot. Odell Beckham Jr., he's on a one-year deal, even though he has four void years on the back of it. Um, Rashad Bateman, are they going to pick up his fifth-year option or not after this year? Nelson Aguilar, he's on a one-year deal. So the wide receiver room, Devin Duvernay is in the last year of his deal. The wide receiver room is going to look a lot different next year than it looks right now. So that's also something to keep in mind. So with Derrick Henry, if they were to acquire Derrick Henry, I, I do not foresee them giving him a contract extension right away. So I, I think he would be the ultimate uh, second half of the season rental But again that's just my opinion I don't know anything I don't know anybody I'm an NFL outsider No plugs no sources no connects But anyway uh, With Derrick Henry he, he would be a nice piece So, But that, that would be something that I will keep in mind I will keep on the lookout for uh, If the Ravens could be interested in somebody else uh, Because while the Baltimore Ravens It says that they are the team that's been most Interested in the Derrick Henry if there's a most, if that word most is used, then that means they are not the only. So there's some other people out there, some other people with some possible better situations for the Titans, maybe a better draft pick, maybe what will be a higher draft pick, what what will be even more possible trade compensation, maybe even more draft capital that the Titans could get for Derrick Henry from somebody else. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But this is a nice start. This is what we like to hear, and this is what we like to see. Something that a lot of y'all like to see have been these jackets, these varsity jackets that we've been wearing. And, I, hey, I love that y'all love it because I love them too. Now, if you want to get your own varsity jacket, uh, you can go to standwithusclothing.com uh, because they got, they got them in this purple and black, this little Ravens purple and black. They got them in gray and black. They got them in the white uh, and green and red and yellow. They got them in some fire colors, and they all look good, every last one of them. So you can go to the link in the description, and it'll take you straight to the jackets. Now, we like discounts, right? I know we like discounts. I know the Baltimore Ravens, they will love a discount for Derrick Henry, but we like discounts, and I know you will love one on this jacket. So you can use code ENGRAVEN to get 10% off of your own varsity jacket. So don't say I ain't never try to put you on. Don't say I ain't never take care of you because y'all know I love you. You know, I'm going to always try to take care of you as best as I possibly can. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Derrick Henry will probably be when it comes to being a Tennessee Titan soon enough. We out.